Okay. Let me just, I want to have a natural smile face. <laughs> so hard for you to smile. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to Tea with Phil and Jen. Today we are brewing two delicious teas in a side-by-side -side tasting with you guys. Yes, two different authentic wines from 2018. One is regular grade, other one is a premium grade. So uh, in today's tasting, again, Phil doesn't know which one is which. And um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. See how it goes. So I'm going to start brewing and maybe you can have a look at the leaves. Yeah, I'm going to put on my eyeballs and have a peek at the dry leaves since, <laughs> since I have to guess what's going on here. All right, so yeah, one of these is slightly darker than the other. And I would say the rolling, one of them looks a little bit different, like the rolling is a little bit more... I don't want to say tight, but a little bit more uh, chaotic or something. I don't know how to describe it. Slightly loosely. I I'm think gonna... it's a little bit looser. Yeah, a tight. little bit. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to wait to get the aroma when we have it in a warmed up guy one. Right. I've got, a, I've got a good look at those. I'm just going to do this thing, let them warm up. It's a bit tricky with a rolled tea to take a stab at the grade, for me at least, compared to, uh, let's say, a strip tea or even like a green tea, which is loose leaf or a white tea, you, you have a lot more information there. For me, looking at rolled leaf is pretty tricky. Mm -hmm. But there is a difference in color, you know, darkness, and in uh, how tightly they're rolled. So we'll see how that plays out in the, uh, in the aroma in the warmed up gaiwan, and soon in the flavor. Oh, that's delightful. Mm. We call that the comfy roasty smell. Mm -hmm. oh, that is so refreshing. Oh, interesting. Mm. Quite different, huh? Both are roasty, like yes. that uh, warming, that comfy, warming roasty, comfy, but they're roasty. slightly different nose. And that's right. The The second one, I feel like it was a little bit more floral and a little bit less creamy. The first one had a creamier aroma, so I don't know. Mm. We'll see. Yeah, definitely this one is more like a, a floral. Yeah. I'll just uh, start a quick rinse for balls. This liquor is slightly lighter. Mm hmm Yes. Just the rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good call. Yeah, I switched that. I'm Line. afraid I might make a mistake later. Line those up with the serving <laughs> pots. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, uh, first a brew. First infusion, here we go. We'll see how that liquor color plays out in a full infusion. Those were pretty similar rinse times too, though, so I think it will mirror. Mm. You want to smell? Sure, if it's not going to interfere with your... Got to be quick, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little bit more robust on the right. Yeah, and darker liquor color on the uh, on your left. So mm. this is the liquor color. Maybe here. I don't know if it's in focus. 
It's all right. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So actually, this is not the first time we shoot this video. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we did this shooting, and first we have camera ran out of memory, and then we realized all the footages that we thought were there were totally lost, completely gone. Yeah. So here we are shooting so second time. The thing I want, why I want to mention that is because、uh, yesterday when we tried that, it was my first time try the both scenes side by side, and also the first time for Phil. That's right.、Uh, but today it's he, it's my second kick at the can. So yesterday、yes. was a fully blind. Guess which is which, premium or regular? This is semi blind.、Uh, this is sort of <laughs> this is like I've been introduced to them and I have to re guess.、Right. I still don't know which is which.、Mm -hmm. um, but here we go. But the liquor color does make it pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, and the leaf shape.、Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think I brewed this better than yesterday.、Mm. Mm. So that was the lighter liquor color from this serving pot. Mm -hmm. Really,、um, really nice, creamy. A little bit of vanilla,、mm -hmm. floral. A really nice sip. I remember really enjoying that yesterday too. Hmm. This one is sweeter. This one tastes sweeter, but actually less.、Um, I think the、uh, the fragrance, the aroma is slightly less than this first one. Yeah, it's more mouth feely, if that's、mm -hmm. a word. <laughs>、um, yeah. And I like how I breathe out and through my nose, and the the creaminess is there. Right. Both bottom cup is really nice.、Mm -hmm. I feel like the、uh, the darker、this. liquor is a little bit has a bit of a thicker bottom cup, like a more sugary. Yeah, this is more floral.、Uh, mm -hmm. The this one. Quite similar. Yeah, quite similar. The、um, the first one I smelled is giving off more quicker. This was a similar aroma, but a little bit more subdued, a little bit more reverent, or kind of、um, mm. uh, sophisticated. This is slightly more rosy on the lid, though I didn't feel much when I have the sip of the、uh, the tea. I'm just gonna go ahead and brew the second brew.、Mm -hmm. Well, it's not really a guess today, but the、uh, the darker liquor.、Oh, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, the darker liquor <laughs> is the、uh, premium. And but yesterday I got、uh, kind of tricked、uh, in the early、uh, aroma of the dry leaf. The premium actually threw more fragrance. Uh, at me, or at least I picked up on more fragrance, and I felt like the、uh, well, indeed, the liquor was more sort of flavorful or strong, as it were. And oftentimes, at least my perception at the time was that with premium teas, that would be that was a bit of a 
not premium behavior. So, uh, and the mouthfeel of the regular one kind of also tricked me into guessing it. But today, uh, the brews are a little more even. Not to criticize your brewing, but they, uh, we did really s- same time yesterday. Yeah. And the uh, premium one was just giving up more and has a lot more to give. Like as we went through the infusions, I probably should have changed my guess because it really had great endurance and consistent endurance, which we'll see in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Kind of getting ahead of ourselves here. Yeah. Because in yesterday's tasting, I, I, I wasn't uh, very uh, strict with the leaf amount. I just uh, put some in, put some in. Then I feel like they're about the same uh, right. quantity, but it turns out to be not the same quantity at all. So mm. we had this uh, that we all know now right. as a regular grade, uh, at the regular amount, the preferred amount. And I overdosed a little bit on the uh, premium right. grade. Right. So when I brewed with the same uh, brewing time, this one turns to be a little bit stronger, which mm-hmm. is a you know, extra factor. Threw me off, completely threw me off. <laughs> I'm going to totally gl- grab onto that as my reason for missing yes- yesterday. Yeah. So at some point when you have a tea at home, I think it's just normal. You know, first time brewing, you have, you have your habit, but the tea is always different, even though they're all like Tieguanyins, right? Mm-hmm. And I also feel like even today with the regular one, I still feel like I have a better like brewing time and mm-hmm. more dialed in because I had the previous experience with yeah. it. So yeah, absolutely. Just always experience and change. How you brew it. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Mm. And I feel this one has more light floral. It's still very mm, booming floral, but it's more like to the light orchid style of floral, while this one still have those uh, gardenia creamy a mm-hmm. little bit sweeter kind of a floral. So a little bit more oxidized during the process, mm-hmm. give it a deeper kind of yes. a deeper, slightly different uh, profile. Flavor and aroma profile, yeah, yes. absolutely. In fact, I'm gonna take a few notes we're going to be throwing these up on the website, so I've got to write about them. So I got to grab a few notes. I'm going to expand on my notes from yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Try this leaf. Mm, we'll do. So when you go to our website, sometimes you uh. Actually, we're trying to convert all the tea descriptions into this right. style that mm-hmm. to include the dry leaf, the dry leaf aroma, uh, the gaiwan lid, the bottom, uh, got bottom cup, mm-hmm. and different elements of uh, the uh, aromas or liquors or look to people because uh, when it comes to uh, tasting, experiencing, or a priest tea, every angles every factor is a placing in terms of a uh, is it a good tea or bad tea or how the quality is and uh, it's like uh, trying to fit a clothes online same with buying tea you, ideally you want to look at the tea and smell it right there or even better taste, taste it, it right right same with like your fitting room is always handy but uh, trying to prom- uh, provide a bit more information online with Hope to give you like more insight of how this tea plays when we brew, when we taste it. That's right. Mm. Mm. So that was infusion two. Mm-hmm. Number two. One, some more. Let's, let's finish it up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to waste it. Mm-hmm. It has been sitting there. It's really caramelized the sweetness. Mm, mm. And if you find it tricky to smell the bottom 
empty cup, an empty、um, serving pot sometimes is a good alternative. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It has a nice、uh, shape that kind of concentrates the smell, the aroma.、Mm. The liquor is still smoother.、Mm. Slightly stronger, but、mm-hmm. still smoother. Yeah, it's got a real nice mouthfeel. The flavor is now. Remember the first infusion? We commented that the flavor of the regular grade was quite there, and the other one was a little bit more subdued. Now it's flipped, right? The the premium is really yeah blossomed. The you know is like a full blooming gardenia with thick mouthfeel. And really elegant blossom, yeah, yeah, like yeah, not overpowering. It's not booming at all. No, that's right. Hmm. Here we go. Infusion number three. Yep. I'm looking forward to this. I always love.、Um, Not just take one yin, but a lot of oolongs around、uh, infusion two, three. Not usually four, but sometimes with the rolled teas, they start to peak or prime and really start to deliver. So I'm、yeah. pretty excited for this infusion. Usually three to five is the best time for yeah, those yeah. teas. This one is always tasted a little bit stronger, so I'll just get that out slightly quicker. Huh? I still think I'm a little bit overbrewed. So, uh, Tie Guan Yin is my、uh, favorite tea, as many of you know, and you can also tell by how many selections we have on the website. <laughs> yes, yeah, we have.、Uh, what do we have? We have、uh, light Tie Guan Yin, so Tie Guan Yin Ting Xiang, which is a you know less oxidized, less roasted, more green, more to、like. the green side. We've got Classic, which is a real interesting、uh, beast. When we splashed that out, a lot of people. We're alarmed to know that Taiwan Yin originally wasn't rolled into balls、mm-hmm. uh, back in the '90s, so it's a strip style Taiwan Yin. And then we've got Autumn, and、right? now we got two grades of Autumn and two grades of Autumn, which we're tasting today. Yeah, and、uh, aged Taiwan Yin as well. That's right. So a great variety of、uh, Taiwan Yin, and、yeah. you know, if you're into tea, and、uh, side by side tasting is a great way to really accelerate. Your... And many people actually ask, right? Like.、Mm-hmm. We have like a five, six Taiwan Yins. What's the difference yes, between the how、yes. to like simplify and what is the biggest、uh, difference?、Mm. So, I often say if you like green tea and just get into oolong and love those kind of greenish, really booming floral. Right. The Qingxiang is the one to go. Often、yes. known as green Taiwan Yin. Pretty good, right? Yeah, the regular is really nice. And as an autumn tango onion, this one is also a little bit.、Um, so you've got your sing、uh, siang, like Jem was saying, very、uh, you know nice transition from green tea, pretty booming aromas.、Um, Then you go into your spring tango onion, which are a little bit, you know, more roasted, a little bit more oxidized. Slightly more roasted, a deeper taste,、mm-hmm. like、right. a still very floral signature tango onion taste with more creamy, a little bit more like a caramelized. So that's a lovely roasty sweetness there. Yep. Rich mouthfeel. That's one of not one of my favorite. <laughs> yes, that is. If I、favorite. don't know what tea I'm drinking, that's the one I go to. Then we have autumn for those who would, you know, to say, okay, tea wine sometimes is a little bit too aromatic, a little bit too floral.、Mm-hmm, I want、mm-hmm. something more to the mouthfeel, with a decent fragrance and stuff. This is the、that's、autumn、right. is more the one to go. Yeah, it's like it's more inward. It still has those.、Uh, Those aromas—they're just more inward, subdued, contained.、Um, they're more warming from the inside out rather than、uh, shining on you like bright sunlight. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I can make a little chart here somewhere. It's saying from the outward to inward. Then you have the most inward. I think the best tea after yoga or those meditations is、mm. the aged Tie Guan Yin, which、right. is more like a subtle, mature. 
I don't want subtle to sound like hard to detect the flavor. It's just a compared to those cheerful kind of thing. It, it's more the way it presents that's, itself. That's right. It doesn't just like kind of just jump on you all at once. It kind of drags out the enjoyment over a longer period and just give you a kind of trickle or a, uh, instead of a flood kind of thing.、Mm. So it really depends on what your preference is, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it can also, like yourself, it can just depend on our mood. Sometimes、mm. we'll just say, you know what, I feel like just a big booming aroma ball this morning to wake me up and get me rocking and rolling. We might have a green oolong, or、um, you know, some mornings we might want to just take it slow. Or yeah, it's just all about mood and feeling.、Mm-hmm. This smells sweeter. This one.、Mm. It's really sweet in the cup now too.、Mm. This seems to be more toasty. This one is more aromatic. Aromatic, I mean floral. Mhm, mhm. Yeah, definitely. Check this out. Wow. Hmm. They're both sweet, but this one's a little bit more sweet. The premium is a bit more caramelized sweet.、Mm-hmm. I would say. And this one has more tartness here on the, at the end of my、mm, throat. That's right, yeah. I didn't detect that in the first two infusion, but、yes. on the third ones, I start to have that. Yesterday, it came right out. Right out, yes.、Yeah. Today, it's more. It's just coming out now. Yeah. That little hint of tart on the side of the back tongue.、Mm. The fourth infusion. Hot. This is more creamy aroma.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just at different phases and different elements to look at the tea、It、has different informations. I notice I always say informations. <laughs> the liquor color difference has been pretty consistent. The regular grade is deepening down a little bit, but. They're all. They're always a little. This one's always a shade more to the orange, whereas this one's more of a golden yellow. Yeah, it's the、uh, fundamentally from the taste. You can tell it comes from the、um, oxidation. Oxidation, yeah. Yeah, and a little bit of uh, uh, roasting, but not much as the roasting.、Mm-hmm. I think the third and the fourth infusion is the best infusion.、Mm. What's your thought? These are both really good. I was just thinking how good they both are. Obviously, the、uh, premium one's a little bit more full. It seems like it will go longer for more infusions as well. Not that surprising. But I'm just enjoying the regular one right now, quite a bit. Like you said, the fourth infusion is really.、Uh, I don't want to rush it. I want to take my time. Yeah, it's really lingering. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like it's not just simply like a grace, or this is a, a bad tea, or this is a good tea,、mm. or which one is better. At some point, because the how they are all from the same origin, the same producer,、mm-hmm. and、uh, process around the same time. Slightly difference is the process. One has a deeper,、uh, a little bit more oxidation. Push that, m- not just more oxidation, proper, deeper right. Right. oxidation. Even deeper. Yeah, give it a little bit 
deeper mouthfeel, a little bit more. If you really enjoy the the creamy, the sweet floral side of a Tie Guan Yin, this one might be more suitable, which is、mm-hmm. this one. And、uh, if you like. Like a green tea wine drinker, start to like a little bit of roasty stuff, but still love that light floral,、mm-hmm. like orchid floral. Right. right. This one might be the one for you. Right. But still, like. <laughs> yeah, they're both great quality. Very、teas. lingering, not over to, not overly toasted.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's from this autumn. So I mean. Uh, they're both very well, like very well roasted in the sense that they're not overdone, they're not underdone. So those、mm-hmm. teas can definitely keep going for more infusions, but.、Yes. Um, Since we're doing the video, we always enjoy to finish the tea with a smackdown, make that super、right. bitter and、uh, <laughs> tough for us to drink. So、um, after four infusions, I'm gonna do the smackdown, yeah. which yeah,、we'll、you will smackdown. see the video from yesterday. Yes, that's right. We'll use that footage, and、uh, yeah, and we'll get right to that.、Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so、uh, we just realized that we're blah 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 blah, and our camera ran out of、um, memory. Yes, we were doing our SmackDown brew, yeah, and our、so. camera gave us a SmackDown. Ouch. <laughs> so right now, this tea because of the drama, these tea have been here for th- oh at least three to five minutes. Yeah,、kind of、yeah, we say that. So that's a real SmackDown. Yeah, infusion four or five, five, I think. Four, four, five, four, five. Yeah, yes.、Old. Oh. Anyways, so we're gonna just try it and see how it goes.、Uh, but before I pour the tea, I really still like to smell the lid.、Mm. <laughs> I'll just poke in and get a little smell. <laughs> mm. See what I mean? I see what you mean. Really, like、now. the tea is like a. Yeah. You have to measure that in every aspect that、yeah. has to be good. It is good. Yeah, the the premium tea is really shining on the guy one lid now in an obvious way, a way I could not detect prior. I was hoping to get that right. Oh well, it's really tricky. Like, like that's why a lot of times it's not. You look at the leaves, and you smell something, and you say, "Okay, this is a good tea," or "This is a bad、mm. tea." Sometimes it really needs an overall thorough examination before you can actually have a conclusion. Yeah, look at that liquor color difference. So it's、mm-hmm. still the premium is coming out quite a bit darker as it did right out of the gate. Yeah, I would call that a sort of a a deep orange for the premium and a sort of a yellow copper gold for the for the regular. Autumn take one yen. Right. We haven't sit down like this and do a tasting and a shot, so I feel like we got a little bit rusty. Because <laughs> I, I always check the camera before I start those. Oh well. Oh what? Hmm. Like it. Oh, that's really good. I like tea that can perform really well when they are doing SmackDown. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely strong. I just let it sit in my mouth. It's still. I have a bit of that tartness in the back still.、Mm-hmm. And then once I swallow, it's a it's a very quick cleanup, very quick return to、uh, like just the, the fragrances come. Mm. I want to wait a little bit too and let that、right? one sort of sit.、It's, yeah. And the empty cup is good. I mean, very good. It's actually now it's very sweet, like a roasty, like a carrot caramel ish、mm. sweet, rather than the、uh, the floral in early infusions. Try this one. 
I'm a little bit afraid of this one. Yeah, I feel it like was, it will be really strong because when I didn't brew for so long, it, it was, was already strong in the yeah, early infusion. Yeah. So here we go. Wish us <laughs> luck. It is strong, huh? You were right, yeah. Yeah, that one has a sharper, a sharper bitterness at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then it kind of, when you swallow it, flattens out and becomes round. Still very creamy. Mm -hmm. I really like the mouthfeel of this tea. Yes. And the strong level, <laughs> intensity level is very different. Mm -hmm. Like this one, if it's uh, like a five scores, this one is Eight, twelve. Nine, twelve. Okay. You think eight, nine? I, I, thought, I, I thought your feel scale like was out of ten. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say double. Then I feel like that's a little bit more than double. Right. I got yeah, you. Yeah. So right. that's why I added two points. Mm -hmm. It is very intense, though. Very intense. Very full. I like it, how it clears up. Yeah, if, once you swallow though, it's it's just lingering forever. And there's no bitterness in your mouth after the no, swallow. It clears up and uh, there's uh, some return sweet. Uh, while they, the sides were like uh, that tartness there, the middle is that mini sweetness that coming back. Mm. And a deep floral, a really it's yes, that's really right. in the back, uh, back of the throat, and all, and floral, over the, all over. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This one can still go quite a lot. Wow. This yeah. one, if uh, I think that if I do one more stat, like a smackdown, that's probably it for right, this one. Right. But this I one, know, yeah. like after this, I think it still have some yeah, brewing drinkable. time. Yeah, that yeah. thing's got really. Good longevity, really yeah. good legs on it. Mm -hmm. well, those are teas from the same garden, similar altiva altivation. Elevation? Elevation, yeah. <laughs> Altivation. Elevation. And um but if you look at the leaves, mm -hmm. they are still different. Like the profile, the everything, all the differences comes from the process, right? Mm -hmm. Some can last a little bit longer, some have a mm -hmm. different uh, flavor profile slightly. Uh, just like uh, one of the talk I have was telling people that how most of the most of the flavors and most uh, you taste from the tea comes from the process, mm -hmm. right? Like this is a really great demonstration. And when I just first look at the leaves, you can feel this one feels a little bit silkier. Right. You know, just a, it's not a, like a very obvious difference, but you just can feel this is look a little bit drier, even mm -hmm. though they both just uh, got brewed. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no such thing as dry. Right. It just has just that appearance. It doesn't have this, texture this one has difference. a luster, luster, a, a, luster a bit right. of a sheen, a silky sheen to That's it. Right. This one's a little bit more dull, um, yeah, a little bit more dull and yeah, not as shiny. And even the feel, you can actually, yes, you can yes, very easily, right. actually with your sense of touch, it's much easier to feel that. This is a little bit, it's not crispy, but it is crispy-er. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, supple. If we were to throw these out of the Gaiwan, this one would hold its shape very well. It's going to be very... Uh, hold its form. Yes, tell. absolutely. It's actually a really good technique after tea. You touch the leaves itself, mm. look at it, touch it, and you know, it's not a one thing that uh, once you can understand all, mm. but uh, throughout time you realize how the leaves can feel different. Right, right. That kept almost the exact square bottom shape. That's the guy one, huh? Yeah. 
This is pretty good too. Not bad. Those are all very good. Oh, you can tell this one's a round guy one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both hold the shape really well.、Mm -hmm. But still, it's quite obvious. This just somehow feel like a thicker, more luscious leaf.、Mm -hmm. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that's it for today's tasting. Two Tianguanyins from the autumn 2018,、mm -hmm. and one is regular grade and one is premium grade. Side by side tasting. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And、uh, check the links down below if you want to take a look at these teas. They'll be up on our website. Check them out. Yeah. And if you like to、uh, meet us in person and sip some、uh, sip some tea together, we will be in Toronto having a pu'er tasting session. We will be talking about、um, aged pu'er. That's right. <laughs> on the twenty second of March. So you can get more information about that down in the description as well. Yeah. So see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.